one change in that from the advertised program. Chris Houghton comes into the side in the centres. You'll notice Brett Kenny will be playing 5-8 instead of the luckless Michael Patterson. He just uh, never seems to get a run of good luck. He's pulled out with a back injury. Sterling is captain, playing his 100th first grade game for Parramatta today. And you'll notice the back row of Parramatta having been changed around. Ray Price in Paris for the... 50th anniversary game of French Rugby League Sharp at Lock, Gibson Wynn in the second row and speaking of Peter Wynn, he's a man who's certainly been affected by bad luck throughout his career, but this season he's been playing football better than ever and he looks a good chance of getting back into the New South Wales side and possibly even the Australian side and certainly a man will be watching this afternoon number 10 too. Let's have a look at this Canberra side, there's Ronnie Gitto leading the Canberra Raiders out onto the field and after five rounds, they're the equal competition leaders. Certainly they've come a long way since that game here at Belmore last year and also the year before when Parramatta inflicted very big thrashings on the Raiders. This afternoon, it may be a different story. Sixworth, uh, they're the fullback. Ronnie Sixworth, brother of Phil, who's back on the manly side, I noticed this week. Dean Lance, the former Newtown player, uh, coming uh, onto the ground today in the 5'8 position for Canberra. I noticed the back row for the Canberra side. As Gilbert, Ashley Gilbert, Paul Elliott and Grant Ellis, they've been in superb form this season. And Ashley Gilbert lives in the late 70s and then went down to Canberra and they formed up a couple of years ago. You're going to see the first kick of the game. Sterling back there takes it superbly and he is certainly looking for a big game today as too will be Neil Hunt who's now got the ball. And last year Parramatta far too strong here at the Belmore Sports Ground 46-16 but I don't think anyone will ever forget and certainly no Canberra fan will let you forget it that defeat in football. This is the second second caution he's received, second penalty against him, and the referee has uh, cautioned him on the run only a few minutes ago, so he really has to watch himself. Here it is, just watch him going in over. Very careless use of the knees, right into the side of the Parramatta player. Bit of a skip the ball. Stewart, Sterling again. Hunt, certainly no passage down there. Out over the top with Hoffman doing the defensive work. Stewart in a dummy half. Taylor, long one out to Mears. Mears seemed to stop when he got to that ball. That pass just held up for a fraction too long. It uh, wasn't quite as well timed as he would have liked. Now Sterling off his foot, off his left foot. He's in. That's a great try to mark his 100th first grade game. Nil. The Parramatta come up with it and Steve Eller making some ground. Eller in the clear, he's over the halfway. Walker coming at him. Walker will take him, gets the ball back inside. Houghton does well to pick up a bad pass. Hunt keeping the movement going, gets the pass away. That's Kenny back inside, it goes to Taylor. Taylor looking for support of fabulous Parramatta football. Oh, great stuff. That's Wynn at dummy half. Wynn going on his own, gets the pass to Sterling. He can't hold onto it and Ronnie Sigsworth comes up with it. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty against Canberra for Sterling as he tried to take that pass, being held back by the Canberra defence. Otherwise, it probably would have been another four-pointer. Kick from Miller. That's a much better kick than the earlier attempt. And that's two more points. The Parramatta lead Canberra six points to nil. And he's had about 16 minutes for the first half. There's Gitter, restarting play again, down towards Taylor, and it goes to Hunt. Hunt going back towards the quarter line. Runs into some solid Raiders defence there. Ashley Gilbert and also up there was Grant Ellis. And now it's Stewart running it out. He dummies one way, got away with it back to Kenny. Kenny out to Ella. A long loopy pass that's picked up on the first bounce by Grace. Grace gets out of one. He's taken across there, put a foot into touch. A scrum will go down just inside Parramatta's territory. There's Don Furnett. Parramatta machine is looking very well oiled. Canberra come up with a scrum win. Lance, the run round with Gilbert, back to O'Sullivan, the pass out to Sigsworth. This is some good football. Intercept by Ella. Ella should score. Coming across in cover defence though as Ellis, he's got Hunt with him. And look at Walker. By gee, he showed some abundant speed to come from behind to pull him down. Out it goes on the right again, out to Hunt. Hunt keeping the movement going through some woeful defence. Off his left foot, off his right, back to Taylor. Taylor running round in circles, back to Sterling. 
Sterling ducks under, he'll score under the post, try number two. Oh, it's so simple. Peter Wynn making another few metres for the Parramatta side. Now Mayers. Peter Sterling. You could call that a shocking pass. <laughs> Jerd throws an equally bad pass. Parramatta still come up with the ball. Canberra can do no right. Parramatta can do no wrong, it seems, at the moment. Now Peter Wynn going up the blind side. They're playing it all the way to Gross Wing. There goes the kick ahead from Sterling. The ball and the... Uh, the Parramatta team going through with the ball is Ella. Ella loses the ball about a metre short and Canberra comes. And again, he's tackling with the ball after being the dummy half. Stewart in a dummy half now. That's Jerd. And Stan just makes another few metres. Stewart. Sterling switches it back out to Sharp. Sharp almost straight through to defence. Gets a pass away. Sterling back to win. Win intercepted by Terry Fay. Fay, has he got the speed? He's certainly got a lot of defence to try and get through. Gets through his Houghton's tackle, and he's looking for support, and it isn't there. There wasn't one Canberra Raider within Cooey of him. Canberra's territory. Steve Eller with the ball, running out wide. Runs into Craig Bellamy, and across there doing some other work. It's Paul Elliott. Now, Gross. Haven't seen much of him in the first half. He busts them up. He's looking for uh, the support on the inside. It was there, but he couldn't get his pass away to Kenny. Taylor, Sterling. Sterling gets it out wide. Gibbs sends the pass away. It's almost intercepted by Chris O'Sullivan. The ball goes loose. The referee says six to go. And Parramatta now right on the attack again, 20 metres out. Stewart goes on his own. Very growth. It was a good tackle, too, from Ronnie Sigsworth. How many fullbacks have managed to do that in recent years? Now, getting out of tackles, a sharp, that's uh, now with the ball, Nathan Gibbs, Gibbs will score, out wide, it's another try to the second rower, bad defence again from Canberra. 16-0, Parramatta lead. Went high, the ball came back down and he managed to take it as it came down. Parramatta just out from their own line. This is good football. They're running it from their own line. Eller, he's opened them up a bit. He's got growth in with him. And good bit of football from Ron Giddo, knocking that pass down. Otherwise, Eric Growth may well have been on his way. Bit of play from Parramatta a second ago, Gary. Just the way that they're two metres out from their own line. They spin it out along their back line. They're just playing shows, with a lot of confidence. Just shows the confidence they have in each other. Now John McLeod with the ball now for Canberra. He takes it to about 16 or 17 metres out. And the ball goes to the blind side to Ellis. Kenny Stewart round his boot laces. Hoffman. The ball gets reversed back the open side. O'Sullivan lands. O'Sullivan back with the ball, looking for support. There's Sam Bacco. Hurdles one. He certainly looks likely Bacco. Plays the ball to Hoffman. And David Grant busting them up the middle. Can't get his pass away though. He's about five metres from the line. Hoffman again. O'Sullivan. A flick pass back into Bacco. Bacco might even score under the post. He will. Good football. Well, certainly a bit of innovative work from the halfback, Chris O'Sullivan. I don't think Bacco knew the ball was coming his way. But that's the first try to camp. Do anything about knocking that pass down, yet he managed to do so. Well, similar to that bomb he gathered a little while ago down under his own post. It was enormous uh, to see the reflex that this man has. Well, now Canberra have made another mistake and Chris Houghton has the ball for Parramatta. He's making big inroads. He's going across the quarter line and he's brought down from behind. And uh, going across there was Dean Lance to do the tackling. But Parramatta on the rampage again. And that's what he's been penalised for. Stewart. Sterling, Jerd. Dummies, Jerd splitting him up. Gets the pass away to Gibbs and he drops the ball. Ball's loose. Gibbs falls on it again but a scrum will go down for the first knock on. Well, Stan Jert again. Centre of that luck. Notice out there to the left that Neil Hunt uh, is a little bit winded. He's all right now. Kenny with the ball. Kenny straight through the gap. Kenny coming up to the line. Oh, really, very solidly knocked then as he ran into Ron Sigsworth and also Terry Fay. Mayer's going to the ball. He almost held on to that too long. I think he did because he had Stan Jert on his outside unmarked and he only had one man to, uh, to really beat. Now it goes back through Peter Wynn's feet. What a heavy clash that was when Brett Kenny went 
right into Ron Sigsworth. Yeah, that's Sterling with the ball. Sterling off the uh, left foot again. Back to uh, Ella. Ella looking for uh, a pass on the inside. It wasn't there. Tackle number five. Taylor. Sterling. Shot at field goal. And it's successful. He's had a great day today, Peter Sterling. Parramatta 19, Canberra 6. It's going through the motions at the moment, it seems. Ella at dummy half. Sterling. Back to Ella. Ella going down the middle, gets his pass away. Brett Kenny. Kenny gets the pass back inside. Going across there is Hunt. He sends the pass out wide to Pengilly. Pengilly back it goes to Mosley. Mosley keeping it going the same way. That's Hunt with the ball again. And some other magic handling then from the Parramatta side. Now Stewart going for a run. Just slowing it down a bit. Tackle number five. Sharp. Sterling. There's the kick. Back there, Sigsworth again. The ball running away from him a bit, but he does marvellously well again to take it on the full. Eller up there to take him to the ground, just out from his own line. So Ronnie Sigsworth has the ball, and there's the full time. Siren in the background. 19 points to six, the score in favour of Parramatta. 